Hello everyone, my name is Jakub Stokalski. I'm the project lead and lead designer of Frostpunk. And today I'm very excited to invite you to show the third and final expansion for Frostpunk called On the Edge. If you recall, the previous one, The Lost Autumn, was a prequel scenario set before the events of the Great Frost and before the whole world went to hell. On the Edge takes a different approach. It shows you the surroundings of the New London after the Great Storm. The Great Storm took a lot from your people and a lot from your city, but also it gave something in return. And in this scenario, you'll be able to see what exactly. One of the sites uh, that got uncovered by the Great Winds uh, was exactly this site. It looks to be a ruin of some kind of maybe an hour army outpost, which turns out to be very rich with resources and an old abandoned warehouse that clearly tried to prepare itself for the, uh, for the storm and for the frost, but really didn't make it. And on the edge, you are not your own city, and this will be apparent immediately when you start playing this scenario. There are some pretty obvious differences and obvious changes that will impact the way you play. The most notable one is the fact that you don't really have the generator here in, in the center of your, of your city, so you will have to find other ways to keep your people warm, uh, building your city, city slightly different. Because obviously, this is after the great storm, but it's not spring. It's still very much cold and it's still very much frostbound. Other elements, classic staples of the game that you might remember from all of the other scenarios also work differently, uh, such as the Book of Laws. Like I said, you are not your own city in this, uh, in this scenario, so you will have to deal with whatever laws New London deems fit for your settlement. You'll be always able to ask for help uh, in particular things, uh, but you will very much have to deal with whatever they send your way, uh, ultimately, uh, on your own. The situation and the map itself is also quite different. As you can see, it's not as spacious as some of the other maps that you might remember from the base game. Um, and this has some pretty, uh, pretty direct consequences. For instance, you are not really resource independent. Uh, there are no game to hunt here in the mountains and the ground is too unstable to build uh, heavy industry such as, uh, such as the, uh, the hothouses. So we will have to depend for food shipments on New London, uh, which they in turn expect you to fulfill your shipments um, uh, of resources uh, from this outpost. Other resources are not surefire either. Uh, wood can run out and you will have to ultimately at some point go out uh, and try to find other ways for procuring the basic stuff uh, that your city needs um, and that your city needs to also send the way of New London with, with the, with the re redone uh, transportation depot here. So I've shown you the beginning, uh, but very much the, 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 the core of this scenario lies on a slightly different level. So let me show it now. Let us jump ahead to a slightly more developed uh, developed settlement. And obviously, it is very important for you to uh, to manage your people well and develop your settlement well uh, to uh, to brave all of the all of the world that has uh, thrown at you here. But the heart of the scenario very much lies on a slightly different level here on the frostlands. You'll be able to explore sites both old and new to see what happened to them uh, during the Great Storm and explore new places that, uh, that you might find useful. But miraculously, you'll be able to encounter other settlements of survivors who also managed to survive the Great Storm. And if resources in your outpost run out uh, and you have to go out exploring, the relationships with these settlements and the way you shape it, whether to help each other or to use them to further your own agenda, will very much sh shape how this scenario plays out. Will you be able to find common ground with them and find common cooperation uh, among different settlements with different needs and different wants? Uh, or will you use them uh, to, uh, to achieve your own goals? All of these choices and the skill with which you manage um, these strained social relationships will determine the fate not only of your own settlement and of those that you encounter, but possibly the fate of New London itself and the whole surrounding Frostlands. But for now, I don't really want to spoil anything more. Uh, you'll have to play yourself to find out what happens. On the Edge releases on August the 20th. And you'll be able to buy it both separately uh, and also as part of the season pass, which includes all of the three expansions that we've released for Frostpunk so far. 
it will be coming out for the PCs first, but rest assured, we are working hard on bringing all of the update content, both the season pass and other updates uh, for consoles as well. And as soon as we have something concrete to share, we'll be sure to do so. Thanks everyone for watching. This really is a quite an emotional moment for us uh, because this is the last step on the way uh, that was Frostpunk for us at 11-Bit Studios and at the Frostpunk team. And we truly hope that you'll love it at least as much as we loved making it for you. Thanks a lot everyone and see you around in the Frostlands.